What's going on guys, it's Will here from TechInConsumer.com and today I'll be showing you guys how to convert videos to MP4 format which is the format that they use commonly in Mac and iMovie and etc. And I'll be showing you guys how to convert your files to that format using Handbrake. You can get Handbrake for free, just Google Handbrake and download it. It's an awesome program and you can also use it to rip DVDs and etc. So first thing you want to do is you want to go up to source and you want to click video file. Once you click video file you'll see maybe a list of video files if you've already explored to that folder in another program maybe or something like that. But I've already browsed to my video folder right here and I've already selected a file. Now these these files might look like they're in MPEG-4 already but there's a bunch of video codec things and etc that I guess I don't have installed and as such my, cam my camera records in a different format than Sony Vegas can handle. So I have to slide all my stuff through Handbrake and then import it into Sony Vegas. So simply what you do is you can set your destination by clicking browse and then you set what you want the file to be named when it's in its destination. You can ignore the chapters and everything up here just make sure it somewhat looks like this. Um, I don't bother with it once I import my video file and don't mess with anything down here. Everything should just be same as source etc. So if you don't mess with anything down there you can easily just hit add to queue and it'll pop up a nice queue right here and you guys can see the video encoder, audio encoder, and what what does Audacity do when uh, you finish or when it finishes encoding your software. You can set it to do shutdown, suspend, hibernate, lock system, log off, and quit handbrake. I recommend not using shutdown unless you know that you're always going to want to use that because even if you don't use the Q feature and you just hit start over here it'll still act as if it's in the Q and when it's done processing it'll shut down your computer and currently there is no way to edit that setting from within the main window without going into the Q window so just so you don't forget to not have that saying enabled. If you don't need it enabled, I recommend not having it enabled because I shut down my computer once by accident. Whoops. <laughs> so, so you can simply hit encode right here and in my case the file would pop up on the desktop and I'd be able to play it in the format which I have selected. Now if we hit close right there and then you can also hit show queue right there to show your queue preview of the clip and activity window basically just shows you what uh, handbrake is doing while it's processing and then up here you have file tools presets and help guide of course and on the side here you guys can obviously see that you can set it to different formats for Apple products and etc. You can easily convert YouTube videos to iPhone, iPad, Apple TV compatible formats for easy viewing. And yeah guys, so that's about it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed my quick tour of Audacity. And if you guys would like to see more videos, news, and reviews, be sure to check out techandconsumer.com. I'll see you guys in my next video.